Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for another episode of The X-Files. This is episode 14 from season one. It's called Gender Bender. No idea what this could mean. I am thinking shape-shifting, changing genders, changing different people, maybe. This one is going to be really, really interesting. I cannot wait to watch, so let's go and see what this is about. Someone is watching. Whose eye is that that's so curious about what's happening? Oh, is that you? He looks a little bit creepy. This is very strange. They both just seem super weird. Hey, I, I don't even know your name. <gasps> Does she take over his body? Oh! Well, that sucks. <laughs> wow! He's... What's that? Oh, okay. So she's killed him. But it's now a man. Those are men's legs. They're hairy. That's a, that's a man's foot. You know, I thought that she would morph into the guy's body or take on his appearance, but I think they look completely different. She or it, whatever it is, has an ability to change genders, hence the title Gender Bender. And maybe it's the same looking female and same looking male every time. But what point is it other than to just kill them for kicks? Maybe that's just what they enjoy doing. Yeah, it's just got to be, it's a serial killer, I'm pretty sure, with a twist. Security monitor records a victim entering the room with a woman at 10.13. Same monitor records a male even just after midnight. Mm. Couldn't she have just changed clothes? Out of that. Male is definitely a different person. Short hair and at least 30 pounds heavier. You know, I don't even know why we got this call in the first place. Somebody at the bureau put out a memo requesting any case involving this exact COD. Oh. I assumed it was. Thanks for the call. Mulder. Five deaths, mm. four in the last six weeks between here and Boston. Wow. In each case, the victim dies in the throes of passion. Two women and three men, including the last one. Each body showed the presence of huge amounts of pheromones. The chemicals mm. animals secrete? You mean sexual attractants? Radar love. Mm -hmm. Only about a hundred times stronger than found anywhere in nature. Strong enough to produce anaphylactic shock or a coronary. Then hold on to your hat, Scully, because you're going to love this. <laughs> the pheromones we're talking about, they contain human DNA. But if it's true, this guy's a walking aphrodisiac. <laughs> He's the ultimate sex man. <laughs> he or she? Mm. You've got victims of both sexes. Mm -mm. Both a man and a woman on the hotel security monitor. I know. That is a puzzle. So what is our profile he loves of the it. killer? As I said, there's been four deaths matching this MO in the last six weeks. In Boston, Hartford, Philadelphia, and here in Washington. The killer's moving south. Yes, it seems There to. was a death I made a note of about a year ago with the same symptoms. A 32-year-old UMW labor organizer was found dead outside a town called Steveston in the woods of Massachusetts. Home to a sect of religious isolationists called the Kindred. Right. They live up there without electricity, phones, any modern amenities. A lot like the Amish. The white clay in those hills is particular to that region. Oh. It's also the same substance I scraped out of the scratches on the latest victim's side. Wow. Wait a minute. Aren't these people famous for their abstinence and their pure Christian ways? Yes. But it looks as if one of them may have forgotten to clean under his fingernails. <laughs> mm. Is this a wild goose chase, or is Mulder on the right track here? Look at that beautiful little town. It's so pretty. Massachusetts. That's them now. They usually shop at the feed store. Off we go. Mm, this girl's not going to be one of them, I don't think. I think I'm going to go inside. You need anything from the feed store? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, he seems odd. Hi. I'm not allowed to talk outside. It's all right. I'm Dana Scully. I don't mean you any harm. If that's the same guy, then they had that weird connection in the nightclub with the touching. 
correct? Could he be? Oh god, the pheromones. He's putting it in. Oh no. She's going to be really interested in him. Kelly, what are you doing? She's all flushed. Her, her nose is all red. <laughs> I'm very concerned. Very worried now. There's something up there, Mulder. Oh, I've been saying that for years. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. This is so exciting. But I'm very worried for poor Scully. That's West. <laughs> what does the map say? That we should be there already. I don't think he's very good at reading the map. Unless the map is crappy. <laughs> he's given up. Men don't ask for directions. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay. FBI agents. Federal police. I'm Agent Mulder. This is Agent Scully. We're here to investigate a murder. We're all saddened by what has happened in your world, but it does not concern us. Up here, no one kills another, ever. We just want to have a few questions answered. This actually would be a really beautiful way of living. But man, I would miss my internet and my computer. I couldn't do it. <coughs> that guy is coughing. Is he sick? He's not doing well. Strange. And there's Scully's new boyfriend. <laughs> Let us praise one. We're looking for someone we believe may have come from here. We have pictures. We do not allow pictures. A crime has been committed. We have certain questions that we need answered, if you'll forgive us. Where was this crime committed? In a hotel in Washington, D.C. How much violence has this person caused in your world? Five murders so far. And may kill again, which is why we need your help. Has anyone left here recently? Oh! Your world does not interest us. We have no need for your violence or your questions. Anger as violence is not tolerated. Our brother must be admonished. This guy is dying on the end there. He does not need your help. He doesn't need anyone's help? He's choking to death. Remove Brother Aaron from the dining hall. We take care of our own. Jeez, that's creepy. It's a mile to your car. Stay in the path. I reckon that guy that we see at the nightclub has left this group, but they won't tell that a member is missing. These people know something, Scully. You can see it in their eyes. What are you Wait. doing? I'm gonna go back for a little look-see. No, you are not. Is she going to? Oh no, you guys are gonna be in so much trouble. I'm pretty sure Scully's new boyfriend. Well, she'll see him again in, in this part here. That's so strange, so strange. There's that guy. That white stuff, could that be the clay that they were talking about that was in the mountains? I think I want to see what's in that cell. <laughs> oh wow, it's not even I guess they wouldn't have a reason to. <gasps> yep, I knew it, it's that guy. Come with me. I can give you information. Really? She's very compliant around him. She doesn't seem to ask any questions or anything. She just goes. I think they're just doing some sort of ritual to heal the guy. To heal that sick man, I think. <sighs> Giving information in his bedroom. Here we go. Oh man, that it's not safe. Not safe. I know who did it. The murders? You've heard our prayers. You've seen how we live our beliefs. I want you to find this killer. Oh. I want you to find him for me. Is that the clay? Yeah, it's the clay stuff, isn't it? These guys are either trying to heal this guy or definitely kill him. Oh, this underground cellar thing is incredible. It's so weird. Marty was captured by your world. He left us to become one of you. Mm. What is that stuff? It's like a latex, weird, rubbery. Strange. So strange. Oh dear. I don't know what how he's gonna get out of here. He's gonna break into that little rubbery. 
Oh! Okay. The woman's returned. Where is she? With Andrew in the main house. What about the other one? He's missing. Oh. Okay. He'll show her what he can do, what they can what do, maybe. Doing? Scully! <laughs> Marty is different. We're all different. Oh. Mm. Mm. <sighs> they all seem to have that ability. Get off of her! Oh, wow. Hi. Look at Scully's I asked you hair. not to interfere. Okay. So just leave. They're allowed to just leave. So Scully has definitely been affected by the pheromones in him. It must wear out, there? wear off. Know. You don't know? No. <laughs> you alright? Why didn't she get out of there before he... Because he told me he knew who the killer was. How did you know he wasn't the killer? I believed him. So what did you see down in the cellar? Just brother what's-his-name buried in some gopher hole in the wall. Buried alive. And his face was, was different. Even his hair was almost feminine. It was like he was going through some kind of a transformation. Wow. Changing sexes? That would explain the hotel security video. I know what I saw, Scully. And I saw you about to do the wild thing with some stranger. <laughs> Out of the car. Mm -hmm. He got very lucky there. I was just about to think that he got lucky and he got out of it, but no. Oh my god. That's so strange. Is he alive? Does he, or does he just die? On a scale of one to ten, she was a kind three. Oh wow. He's okay. But there was something about her. Her touch was electric. After she left the car and she was fighting with the cop, I saw her in her clothes. And she looked like a, she looked like a man. He was always forbidden. But after the first time, I couldn't help myself. Wow. Touching a human man. That's Marty. Or a woman. Yeah. Powerful for me as it was for you. Your world offers pleasures. Pleasures we don't know because we're different. But you know that now. The others will punish me for what I've done. Who is that guy? They'll find me because the day is coming and they won't leave without me. Delivery! <laughs> Clever. FBI! FBI! Clear! Stay down! Get That's body! That's the room, yeah. Oh. I'm okay. Oh, come on. No. Where are they? Where are they? Go, go. Oh, no, 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 no. Get your gun. Oh, my God. So weird. <coughs> Whoa! I can see a figure. That's him, right? Oh, what? Federal agent, I'm armed. Back away. That's him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's him. That's him. Oh, oh. that's Mulder or oh, the backup? Yeah, the. Step away. <gasps> that's his brothers. Oh my god, okay. Step away! Please. Don't hurt him. Don't you touch her. No, stop it! Stop it! Don't be stupid! Sally! Oh my god, no! <coughs> oh, wow! 
We set up roadblocks in all the routes out to Steve. So far, nothing. No reports. There's no way they could have gotten through. Well, what if they did get through? There's only one place they'd hide. In that cellar. Oh, back there. They they've got to be back down in that little weird place, right? <gasps> what? It's just being blocked off by the clay stuff. That's so so weird. I don't understand. How can they just disappear? They have no means of transportation. No earthly means of transportation. No earthly means. Hang on, what? Are you joking? It's a UFO thing. They're actually aliens. No, 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 no. What? Oh, you're gonna end like that? That is a terrible way to end it. That is not a fair way to end that episode. Now it's gonna make me want to know do we get more from that or is it just like that's it we don't get any more from that but that was awesome i didn't expect that at all no earthly means of transportation they cannot be and like an alien cult come on this just cannot be happening i think that's what it is though and that is absolutely fascinating i'm fascinated and so curious and just, I want to see more from them. There are so many cases that I want to see again. I want to see these guys again. I want to see tombs again. I want to know what happened to the Eves. Like, so many of these episodes all end in a mystery and the possibility of seeing these people again and again man it's so so interesting and i i do hope that we get a uh, full closure for some of these cases that was really good i was so so interested in this episode i thought it was awesome really really exciting really cool i loved what happened there with scully i thought that was so interesting her new boyfriend <laughs> But I feel very bad for her. I mean, this, wow. I just really loved that one. It was well done. It was exciting. It was interesting. And the ending is very unexplained. We don't get any closure, which I kind of like. And then I'm kind of like, why are you doing this? It's so cruel. I really enjoyed this one. I'm loving the X-Files, guys. It's so interesting. I just cannot wait to watch more of these episodes. I just love them. All right, guys, going to end this video here. Thank you so much for joining me on yet another crazy adventure with Scully and Mulder. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again really soon in the next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.